Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, about two or three weeks ago, Brother Tom called me one night after dinner and asked me if I would do this. Well, I will have to admit, my first thought was I should never have answered the telephone. <laughs> I should have just kept watching TV because everything in me was saying, no, you can't do this. But no, not everything, because there was this one little thing, which I'm sure was the Holy Spirit saying, the Lord has been so good to you, this is the least that you can do for him. So here I am today. Um, I will have to say, I told Brother Tom, I can do this as long as I don't have to be first. <laughs> yeah, the Lord has a way of showing he's in control, doesn't he? Um, I grew up in the church, in the Methodist church, down in a little town called White Bluff, Tennessee. Always believed in the Lord, believed in his great power. But sometime when I was a young person, I always thought those special miracles and healing powers were reserved for those who were special. You know, they were better Christians or they knew the Lord better than I did. But over the years, he's shown me that's just not true. I started thinking about this, and I had a whole laundry list of times that he had healed me, healed Harold, our family members, put us in the right place at the right time for our kids. Um, he really showed me that all things are possible with God for all people. And one of my special miracles that happened in our family has to do with Grayson. And Becky, would you put his picture up? I'd like y'all to meet Grayson. And yes, yeah, kind of an ah moment. He's so cute. Um, he, he, was, um, he was born just before Thanksgiving in 2007 out in Colorado. His dad was in Iraq at the time. As you know, his dad's now in Afghanistan. So he's had some time away, has an older brother, 14 months older, Clark. Well, I went out to stay with Heather when Grayson was born, since she had another child and was all alone. Grayson was born a failure to thrive baby. At uh, about five weeks old, he weighed almost a pound and a half less than his birth weight. He was not growing, um, seemed healthy in other ways. He just wasn't gaining weight and growing. So they put him in the hospital there in Colorado and they found he was severely allergic to milk and soy and some other things. So it was a matter that he wasn't getting any nutrition. Well, that got fixed easily. Found a formula called Elecare, worked perfectly. But while he was in the hospital, they found that his liver was not functioning properly. And his enzymes were off. It wasn't critical at that time. And the doctors really thought that as the Elecare took over and he gained weight, he grew, that it was just an undeveloped liver. Um, so they sent him home and started watching him. Well, over the next year, he grew. By the time he was a year old, he was a chunky little baby and growing beautifully, but the liver was still not functioning properly. They did all the scans they could do. They did all kinds of blood tests. Could not find what was wrong. The liver looked fine through the scans, but the function was lessening. So at about 15 months old, he went in. They said, we're at the critical point. We have to do something. So they decided to do surgery the next week. I went back out to stay with Clark, and we were, we were all there. And the week before when they scheduled surgery, his enzymes were way off. He was beginning to show other signs of liver dysfunction. And so they took him, we scheduled the surgery. They took him in early that morning and to do pre-op blood work. His enzymes were perfect. His liver was functioning perfectly. Um, doctors didn't believe it. They reran the test. His, all the tests, the results, were right smack dab in the middle of normal. So they sent him home, said, come back in three weeks. 
we'll redo the tests because they thought, you know, this is a glitch, this, fun this liver function will not stay this way. Well, he's five now, has never had a test that showed anything wrong with the liver again. I mean, it was, to us, the miracle of a lifetime for our family. And uh, it just goes to show that God does heal. And I love this story because sometimes you'll say, God healed me, and someone will say, well, the doctors did it. Or, well, you know, it was a misdiagnosis. Not this time. And though his doctors were wonderful, they were living in Kansas City by this time, and he was going to Children's Mercy Hospital there. Um, though the doctors were involved with the testing, there is no doubt that the doctors did not do the healing here. The Lord did the healing for this child. So he showed through this that we're a normal family. They're a normal military couple. They didn't have to be anything special in order for the Lord to heal them. So we believe the Lord has great things in store for Grayson someday. Right now we think it's a stand-up comedian, but we're <laughs> hoping that will change by the time he's grown. Um, so if there's one thing you take away from this story, I hope it's the fact that Grayson is living proof that all things are possible if you just pray and believe. Thank you. Thank you. Now, aren't you glad you went first? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. What a great, great testimony to the power of our God. And we just give him thanks for that. Our God's in the business of doing that. And he, he does it every day. So thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to stand. We're going to sing. Change my heart. Oh, God, as we do this, we'll dismiss our children to go to children's church. So kids, y'all can depart. Let's stand and sing.